Well, they stopped, but I think they're listening to me. Hi, Adishis. It's nice to see everyone. Sorry I didn't put out any videos last week. It's been a bit busy around here. My oldest son moved out. Yay! So some of you have been going through some you know, rough times and sad times, and I want you to know I'm really thinking about you, and you're all always in my thoughts and prayers, so please know that. I'm so happy to be here with all of you and can't wait to hear from you. That's my favorite part, but there's a particular thrift store that I wanted to go to, and they've just reopened. They're a charity shop and they all the money they collect goes to different charities. So they even do some, some scholarships. So it's kind of a cool place. It's I'll break it up into two parts. And I have many other hauls that I still have yet to show you. But this focus, if I hold it in front of something like that. So it's a little cross as you can see it's silver in color i don't know if it's silver plate or sterling or anything like that and it has some little rhinestone type stones and i just thought it was really sweet and it was two dollars and i'll show you the back the back has a little hammered look can you see it i sure hope you can see it because i can't see you at all and the sides, I looked at it with my loop magnifier and there's, you kind of see the sides have a little black. I don't know, what do you think of that? I thought it was really sweet and it was only $2. Oops, <laughs> $2, there you go. Yeah, so I got that. And you know what I thought I would do today? I have the rest of my items. Well, there's two other things I, I have. I'll just grab those. I have everything in the bag. And the reason I did that is because I like watching people take things out of the bag. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the sound of it or what. Do you like that? I think I'm going to do my next haul that way too since it's still in the bag. Let's do that. So I found these two little St. Patty's Day items. I found this little cookie cutter, little shamrock, I think it was 50 cents. It's one of those places where they still mark things in cents sometimes, even 10 cents you can find things. This was a little hat and they had it marked St. Patty's Day, I guess it looks like a little leprechaun hat, I guess if you're making cookies. I thought it was really cute and it was 25 cents, this one I remember, and it does what does it say on it? Hong Kong. Scan. Am scan Hong Kong cookie cutter. So there's that. Let's take things out of the bag. I am um, I am having a cuppa. I hope you're having a cuppa. This is not a vintage cup. I'll tell you about it afterwards. So let's see. Most of these things I'm just going to keep. How about this? This was so pretty. This is a linen dish towel, and I wanted to show you. It says Stevens Linen, and it has some Easter lilies, I call those Easter lilies, and some hummingbirds, and then this little, there's just like a little random design across it. It's really nice. It's never been used, doesn't appear to have ever been used. Yeah, and I probably will sell that. And it was only $1.50. Very pretty and springy. Sorry about that. Of course, as soon as I sit down to do something, my family is calling me. Oh, sorry, barking dogs next door. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Oh, I got some things that I can use, um, you know, with my Etsy shop. These are fall. They have a little squirrel 
and a pumpkin on them. They're just little treat bags. Treat, it says treat sacks. And I thought they would be cute as a little package topper or to put something in. And they were only a dollar. And there's eight of them in there. They probably came from the Dollar Tree, I would guess. I got a pack of stickers from the 90s for 50 cents. And I thought this was cute. They're made by Sandy Lion. And on the back, it says, join the Sandy Lion Sticker Club. So I thought that was kind of cute. And I got some tissue paper at a dollar a piece, yellow and polka dots. All right, let's dig back into the sack. Hey. Okay. This was just a bag of colorful cocktail picks. I like to bundle these up and send these, you know, as little extras in my packages. There's some yellow one in there too. I really liked these because they were pretty colors. Very 50s colors, if you ask me, that turquoise and pink. So I got a big bag of them for a dollar. I, I don't know why I bought these. My son, my youngest son, who you know, he's autistic and he has some very specific tastes that in things and he loves Alaska Airlines. He loves Alaska Airlines. It's really kind of cute. I don't know why I bought these because he'll never play with these. It's just a pack of Alaska Airlines cards. I don't know why I bought them. <laughs> so that's what's on there. I got those for him. And like I said, after I got home, I thought he's never going to play with those. But there they go. There they are. <laughs> Let's see, I'm trying to save my favorite things. Okay, and I got this. This is a bag of little molds. They're just that little, you know, aluminum mold. This, there's, how many are there? There's, I think, eight stars and two bunt style. But I know that some people do cool little things and make little, you know sculptures inside and they make little little dioramas and cute decorations in there and you'll laugh because i was showing these to my mom and i was telling her my thought of maybe trying something like that and she was completely silent because she knows i'll probably never do that but now i have some do you need some let me know <laughs> What could I do with these? Oh, I'm just not so creative, but I like them. Yeah, there's eight stars and two bunts, and I got the bag for $2. So I figured even if I had gone to Michael's or some craft store like that and bought some things like this, I would have spent at least $2, right? I could make jello in them. How about this? What do you think of this? I got this little bunny ornament. Can you see it? I think somebody made this. You know, the same way the Christmas ornaments are made with the sequins and the pins. This little lace on the side. I think. Do they sell little styrofoam eggs like this that are already cut out in the middle? Or do you have to cut those out of styrofoam? I know I have cut styrofoam before and it is a mess. So you can see it's glittered in there. It has a little string out at you, but he's pretty cute. He was a dollar. What am I? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got two silver plated spoons and I do like to give these away when I sell 
mugs if shipping weight uh, permits monogram on them but it looks commercial it doesn't look like oh well I have an M for you know my family name can you see it it does look like a little M with the little arrow in it I don't know which way it goes I thought maybe it was some kind of airline or hotel can you see there you go you can see that one so that's what it looks like and then the back says I'm gonna have to read my paper because you won't be able to see it I won't be able to see it that's what I mean by that it says Victor Victor Esco or something like that anyway they are silver plate little teaspoons those were 50 cents a piece okay I got this little guy for a dollar he's a little pin he does have two eyes but the black has come off of one of them and when I first saw him sitting in the case you can see he was only a dollar he I thought he was a lion but I don't know then if you look at him it looks like he has hooves and the way he's sitting maybe he's some kind of bunny or donkey or not that bunnies have hooves <laughs> you know what I'm saying his ears look like a little bit bunny like his hoofs look a little bit donkey like I don't know is he an animal sitting in front of a flower or is he a lion what are you or is he just one of those funny kitschy little little things and I don't, he's not old or anything but he's not new he reminds me of something that I might have had when I was, you know, so I guess that is old. <laughs> he reminds me of something I might have had in, you know, kindergarten or something like that. Here's the back. And I did have things like this. I'm going to show you one more thing and then I'm going to end this video and we'll come back and I'll show you the rest. These are salt and pepper shakers. And they say San Francisco. And of course, that's the Golden Gate Bridge, which I already have told you is one of my most favorite places. And it is marked, they have a little sticker on the bottom, um, SNCO Imports San Francisco, and then it says Made in China. really quickly because my family just came here. It's this little tea set. It has the little cup. And it has the little teapot, which doesn't have a separate lid. I guess I, I guess it came with a separate lid. I thought it just was one of those, like the teacup is the lid, but I think it probably did have a lid. So I was a little disappointed in that. And that is the Cliff House there. And it says Cliff House at Seal Rock, San Francisco, hand painted. And then they're marked Japan on the bottom. This one also has a sticker. So it has some gilding on it, and I just thought it was really cute. Well, you're going to have to come back to see the rest of it.